It is the parliamentary budget officer. This government appointed him just yesterday. The finance minister said we should believe the parliamentary budget officer. What did he say? He revealed that the first carbon tax will cost 41 cents a litre. And now that there's a second carbon tax of 17 cents a litre, and then when you add the HST on those two taxes, you get a total new tax increase of 61 cents a litre, costing $2,000 a family. How are Canadians going to be able to pay their bills after this new and latest Liberal tax hike? Mr. Speaker, I would like to quote from the Parliamentary Budget Officer's own analysis, which, and I quote, does not attempt to account for the economic and environmental costs of climate change. He's looking, the, the Parliamentary Budget Officer is looking at one side of the ledger, Mr. Speaker, without looking at the other side of the, the ledger. And we know that climate change is already costing Canadians billions of dollars every year. In fact, Mr. Speaker, tens of billions of dollars every year. I, of course, if you're the Conservative Party of Canada, you don't believe in climate change and you don't care that those costs to Canadians. But unfortunately, facts are facts, Mr. Speaker, and those costs are real to all Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Climate costs are real, but they will not be reduced as a result of this tax. Right. And so the Minister's argument is, leads to a dead end. The Parliamentary Budget Officer said carbon tax 1 would cost 41 cents a litre. Now carbon tax 2, 17 cents a litre. And then they want to tax the tax on the tax by putting HST on top of all that. So it's going to be 61 cents a litre in carbon taxes. We already have one in five Canadians skipping meals because they can't afford the price of food. How many people are going to go hungry when this government imposes this tax hike? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, the Leader of the Opposition is wrong yet again because our plan is working and is, has led to reduce in emission in Canada and climate change pollution by more than 50 million tonnes between 2019 and 2021 beyond COVID. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, it's called a pandemic because it was happening all over the world and yet Canada in 2021 and 2020 and 2021 has the best performance of all G7 countries, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Went down when they actually locked down the country for COVID, but they want to do that forever.